Morning, Botai. The past few days we've been speaking about some of the halachot that are associated with visiting a cemetery, different brachot that are involved, and uh, among other things. So a person also has to realize that visiting the cemetery to begin with, even for a good purpose, is not necessarily so simple. Uh, the Chachmei Kabbalah, including the Ari Kadosh and the Gaon Mivilna, point out that many times it's very detrimental to visit there because many forms of Tum'ah and Klipot rest in the cemetery and they stick to a person. The Gaon Mivilna, even on his parents' yard site, did not visit the cemetery. He said that the, although uh, his visiting, visiting his parents, uh, his parents' graves on their yard site would benefit them, the spiritual damage to him by visiting the cemetery is much worse than the benefit than they would get. And therefore, even on their yard sites, he didn't go. Dariya Kadosh also speaks about in Sha'ara Kavanot that a person should be very, very careful when visiting the cemetery, especially when a person is not tahor, whether it's a man or a woman. He says in general, women shouldn't go to the cemetery at all. It's, uh, it's, it's not, uh, you know, in terms of the, the ruchot that go on over there, it's not a simple place. So a person should go only sparingly, even if it's talking about going to visit Kivret Tzadikim. Now, when a person goes, obviously, uh, there are halachot as well. Person should not go out for those who wear their tzitzit out. Person is not supposed to wear out the tzitzit or tefillin in a cemetery because of lo larash, because it's kind of making fun or poking fun at the metim. They can't do these mitzvot anymore, and we can't. So, person, even if he's uh, wearing his tzitzit out, he has to tuck them in. Or if a person walks around with tefillin, he has to take them off before he goes into the cemetery. Also, very important, the um, Gemara tells us there are different kinds of ways that uh, things are written on a tombstone. Sometimes the writing on a tombstone is engraved, or sometimes it's just flush with the stone itself. That's fine. If you want to read it, that's okay. But sometimes they take pieces of metal or stone, whatever it is, and it sticks out. It protrudes from the stone. If you read that, the Gemara says, reading a tombstone, when it sticks out from the stone, over there that is kashel shikha, it causes a person to forget his Torah learning. So a person should be careful not to read those kinds of tombstones in the cemetery. There are many other halachot that are involved, but the point is that a person should act when he's there because it is considered a makom kadosh, and therefore a person has to act with, you know, in a sacred way, and not chas v'shalom, to be mechalel, the neshamot that are resting there. Have a wonderful day. Yom Tov.